We featured the Pride of London, which embodies the community of the players and the people around the Chelsea Football Club. It was really amazing going to Stamford Bridge and to look through the archive and see how much has been developed. And that's how the scarf was born. It was looking at pieces and designs which informed me, but then particularly around Paul Cannonville and obviously being the first black player for Chelsea Football Club. Oh, he's found Cannonville! Chelsea have done it! Definitely the 83 84 top was a real key reference point. And obviously, there's some really great shots of Paul with the scarf. Again, it features Chelsea blue and the colorway from the 1983 strip. And obviously, it features the Pride of London motto and slogan, which celebrates not just the club, but the city and the community around it. Oh, cheers, About nice hand me, boys, let me. I'm there, I'm here. So developing the Chelsea track top for the collaboration, we obviously highlight the King Canners embroidery, taking the Chelsea Lion, the use of the Chelsea Blues, the striping. Within my collections and ranges, there's always a tartan and a plaid or a check due to my Scottish ancestry. And the proceeds will help support other grassroots programs. With West London in particular, and like the history, especially with the Caribbean community and the wider black community within it, it's important to highlight that and celebrate it. There's always similarities with celebration, recognition, pain, rebellion from, say, Paul's generation, even through to where I am today. Oh, yeah. Yo. Well, well, yeah, yeah, bless you. All good? Yes, man. Nice yeah, man. popping in. Growing up, um, obviously, I went to school locally. Just name it. Quite a few footballers yeah, yeah. who grew up with Randa Manor. And Paul Cannibal, also, just King from Canis. down the road. Basically, being a kid working in the shop from young, on a Saturday, people would come, because Peckings was so well known, it was the only place where you could buy a Studio One, which is like the Jamaican mm. Motown. A lot of the guys who used to go football, especially in the 80s, it was like the rude boy time, mm. bad manners, UB40. Mm. That's when the music was kind of all coming together yeah, well. with the sport. I like that, I like that, mate. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> talk about Paul's legacy and beyond the game, he's like, yeah. wants to help and support <laughs> through his foundation with Chelsea. It's definitely like an aspect of why I felt this was a good project. He's grounded, he's cool, and he went through so much. Enough respect to him. 100%. So, Reese, you good? Yeah, good? Yeah, yeah, that's not all good. Yeah, good, thank you. <sighs> Stamford Bridge. Yeah, no. <laughs> so, Reese, yeah, this was the scarf we developed in partnership with Chelsea, the Pride of London, with King Canners, homage to Paul. And then on the flip side, we've got the Chelsea Blue Tartan, which was a bespoke pattern we did. So this is what we've been working on. So nice. This stadium where people can come together and enjoy 90 minutes, that's what it's about, really. It's the community in which this stadium creates. What is community? for you here at the bridge? Probably just kind of bringing everyone together, you know, no matter where you're from or what colour you are or, you know, what religion you believe in. Just kind of coming together, you know, as one and having one focus. I respect that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice yeah. to meet you as well, bro, man. Yeah, man. This product can obviously look great and tell a story, but also contribute something to a younger generation of kids and groups of people connected to the foundation and the club and try and support the next generation.